hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to read something from the book that i'm reading currently um probably for the second time <laughs> and it's called healing the soul of a woman i really really enjoy joyce maya's books and i have a lot actually and i learn a lot from her and if you have negative things to say about her please you know is, this is not the time, this is not the page, okay? Anyway, I'm going to read something that is going to bless you. What is a healthy soul? I'm reading chapter 4. Psalm 61, 1. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Now I'm reading below um, her comments. The soul of a woman is rather a mystical place because it cannot be seen and is rarely understood, even by the woman herself. Still, it holds a place of importance in our overall makeup. We know what our bodies, what our body is, because all we have to do is look in the mirror and see it. We may not like what we see, but at least we know what it is. We are spiritual beings who have a soul and live in a body. Your inner self is composed of your spirit and your soul, and your outer self is your body. Okay. The spirit of a woman is where the Holy Spirit comes to live when she's born again. When she receives Jesus as her Savior, her spirit becomes the dwelling place of God. And since God cannot be anywhere that is not completely holy, the human spirit is sanctified or made holy at that point. We actually uh, receive everything we need in, in we need to live amazingly wonderful lives at that point. But since we lack knowledge, it takes time and diligent study of God's word in order for us to understand it. And even after we know what we have, we still need to make decisions to act accordingly. Knowing is step one, but it needs to be followed by step two, which is doing what we know. For example, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So since he is living in the woman of God, she does need and she does indeed have peace at her disposal. Yet she may still worry be anxious, and display emotions that are erratic. To be erratic is to be unstable, unpredictable, inconsistent, changeable, or fitful. Once she decides she no longer wants to live and behave that way, being manipulated by her circumstance, she will begin then to process um, the process of retraining the emotional part of her soul to come under the guidance of the Holy Spirit that is within her. She will need to rely on God to give her the strength to obey Him. And if she has been fierce, fiercely independent, the, uh, this may take time and could include several failed attempts at remaining peaceful in the storms of life before she begins to see any changes. In order to not become discouraged, it's important to remember, to remember that God has promised that He will complete the good work He has begun in us. Philippians 1.6 our part is to keep pressing toward the goal and to never give up. Eventually, little by little, our soul will find its rest in God. We know what it is to, what it's like to sit or lie down and rest our bodies, but we may not know what it's like to rest internally in the realm of soul. When we are at a complete rest in mind, we will and emotion then and only then Will we be free from the tyranny of circumstances and people uh, that upset us? We cannot control all of the circumstances of our life um, or the people in our life, but God has given us the fruit of self-control, and with His help, we can learn to control our response to what takes place around us. This is true freedom. A healthy soul is at rest. It is not emotionally distraught. It doesn't worry or be anxious or become anxious, fret or fear. It is not burdened with guilt or shame. It has ha it has found its home in God and trusts in trusts Him to take care of all that concerns it. Admittedly, in our world today, there's an abundance of things that um, to be concerned about. If you're a single uh, mother trying to raise children on your own, or you have a special need child or you're continually under financial pressure, facing illness, or, or the caretaker of the elderly parents, it may sound like ludicrous to you. But, and you can say, you can have rest 
in your soul. If you felt that way, I totally understand how you feel. But nothing is impossible with God. And you can have a supernatural rest that only he can give. Um, I'm not going to read anymore. I went all the way to the third page. I just hope that uh, this blessed you and encourages you to trust God uh, and rely on Him with your soul. Your soul is your mind, your uh, will, and your emotions, okay? And our emotional life is the one that we all struggle, and it's hard to get it under control, especially when there's a lot going on around us. And even if it's not in our personal life, it's around us in this world. So it's really hard to avoid not feeling, not uh, getting distracted or overwhelmed or anxious or because it's, it's around us. But if we trust God daily, daily, and I mean daily, this is like a daily thing, uh, and rely on his word, um, it's possible to find peace. You just have to learn to tune out what is not supposed to be there in your head or inside of you. And raise the voice of God inside of you. Meaning, get rid of the distractions and let the Holy Spirit speak to you and keep you calm and peaceful. I hope this blesses you. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.